Me I go take you everywhere. Now for Bafu we dey go so. We go party every day. Now for Bafu we. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Joyce Lin Binui, a content creator based in Douala, Cameroon. Guys, please, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, do me well to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, so that once any new video comes, you get a notification and you watch. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how we prepare a chew in Bafut in the traditional way, yeah. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. We do eat a chew with yellow soup and black soup. So, guys, if you want to see how this five-star traditional meal in Cameroon, the only five-star traditional meal in Cameroon that is eaten by a lot of tribes, yeah. If you want to see how it is prepared, how it is eaten, just stay tuned and watch till the end. So guys, I started by lighting up my charcoal so that it should be getting warm while I go ahead and clean my cocoa yams. So I've already cut them into pieces so that it should get ready fast since the cocoa yams were so large. So right now I'm just washing them and after washing I'm going to place them in the pot as you can see. And I'm going to prepare this makabo first guys. So here I have makabo and this is Ibo Kokoyam I'm washing right now. So I'm going to keep this Ibo Kokoyam aside and then I add some water into the makabo. Yeah this is yellow and white makabo. So I'm just going to prepare it first. This is it on the fire already. So after it's ready, a little bit ready, I'm going to add in the Igbo Kokoyam. As you can see, I've already added into the pot. And after the Igbo Kokoyam is close to get ready, I'm going to add in my Achu Banana. Yeah, so right now I'm adding in my Achu Banana. So everything can get ready completely at once before we start pounding yeah so here is my actual banana already in the pot so now it's ready and it's time to pound guys you see that when it's ready you see it cutting in the middle as you can see yeah so once it's one here it was ready and then i was removing it into this bowl so that my younger sister can peel while i pound so just go ahead and watch keenly how we do this guys hope you're going to enjoy the process so we are first of all going to start by pounding the achu banana usually we start by pounding the achu banana and after pounding the achu banana we are going the first round of the achu banana we are going to pound the first round of the ibo coco yam and then we mix the both of them together and and once it is well mixed we place it aside we put it in something you're going to see all of what I'm saying and after that before we pound down the second round of the achu banana and then we also take down the second round of the Ibo Kokoyam and we pound them together and mix and um, after that we go now next to the makabo the yellow and white makabo and then we pound and mix everything together so technically here this was the first round of the achu banana that i pounded and next you're going to be seeing my ibo coco yam that my younger sister is peeling here yeah so that is ibo coco yam i'm pounding right now so after this we're going to mix it as i explained earlier so just wash keenly and you're going to understand how this is done guys please when pounding your achu coco yam or your achu banana in fact your achu in general make sure that it doesn't have seeds make sure that when peeling it they don't put those parts that are not really ready because once you put in those parts it's going to give you noodles it's going to give your achu noodles and bet you i bet you you're not going to enjoy your achu with noodles like that yeah and make sure you pound it well chronologically don't just mix everything together like that else you're also going to have seeds in your in your achu that's small small noodles in your achu that will not really be pleasing to eat things we eat it with the hand yeah so just watch you can see my little girl Ngumi is holding my leg and sitting right there beside me she couldn't leave guys yeah so just watch and i hope you're going to enjoy it and maybe you're going to learn something new from the way i do mine yeah 
usually the banana and the cocoa yam is best pounded when it's really hot guys you don't need to leave your actual banana or your cocoa yam to get cold before you pound that's why when pounding we leave the pot on the fire and then we remove from the pot and just like that yeah you don't remove the pot from the fire and put it down and then you start removing the cocoa yam or the banana and pounding yeah you leave it on the fire so that the cocoa yam can remain hot and the reason why we pound and mix pound and mix is because why we pound the banana and the cocoa yam and then we mix it at once before we go to the next round is because once you pound the banana and you leave it to get cold for after some time it becomes so hard and difficult to mix at the end so the best thing to do is that when you pound the first round of your banana the second pounding should be your your uh, Igbo cocoa yam and after pounding your Igbo cocoa yam you just go ahead and mix it at once with the banana like you see me doing it here now yeah you just go ahead at once and mix it so that it shouldn't stay out for too long and get too hard for you to pound yeah yeah if you're new to this channel guys sorry i never introduced myself properly i'm a woman from barfoot i'm married to a barfoot man and our traditional meal is a chu and this is what i'm preparing right now maybe you can be interested in a meal like this and you love to try it for the first time guys i'm telling you this meal is so yummy when i tell you that is the best five star traditional meal in cameroon trust me guys the day you taste it just come back and give me a feedback let me leave you guys with some traditional music while you wash and see how it is done and i'm going to come back again when we're about to prepare the soup <laughs> Whoa, 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 
So guys, Achu is ready and I'm about to make the soup. So now I'm boiling the amba. Yeah, this is the amba that is used for black soup. And here is our meat and kanda that we'll be using for both the black and the yellow soup. So I just added in some salt for seasoning and then some maggi also. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it to get ready. And once it's almost ready, I'm going to add in my mushrooms. Here are my mushrooms, guys. I'm just going to add in my mushrooms and since the mushrooms get soft very fast i had to add it towards the end and right now the stock is ready and we're about to make the yellow soup so i'm just going to use half of the stock for the yellow soup so here is our niki that we'll be using for the yellow soup here is the sieve that we're going to be sieving our niki through it yeah and that is the pot that we're going to use in mixing this is our stock yeah so i'm just going to quickly mix pour in some of the niki into cold water guys and mix it very well and stir it very well yeah and after stirring i'm just going to leave it i'm just going to leave it to get soaked well and then next i'm going to pour in some of our palm oil into the pot into the empty pot and since this oil was clotted i had to put it on the gas to melt a little bit just to melt guys not to get too hot yeah so right now i'm just going to sieve in our nikki into the oil into the pot of oil yeah and then i'm going to stir it well to mix i'm going to mix it well and then taste it if the niki is okay in my mouth it doesn't need to get too strong guys i don't know how to explain this to you guys but after mixing i'm going to see if i'm going to add in more of the niki or not after mixing i'm going to taste yeah so i was mixing the first round of the niki that i put And I'm going to add in more of the Nikki. Yeah, so that's what I was doing there. Yeah, and I'm going to stir again. I'm going to mix very well again. now i'm going to add in my stock i'm just going to be carrying it with this cup yeah without the obstacles guys just the stock yeah and i'm going to use just half of this stock for the yellow soup since i'm going to use the other half for the black soup yeah when i put in a stir like that you put in you stir like that yeah <laughs> this is my spices my at grounded at two spices that i bought from the market so i'm just going to use half of these spices i'm just going to add half of these spices into the yellow soup and the other half will be used for the black soup yeah and then i'm going to mix well as you see me doing with my spoon just watch and see the process guys this is not the end and i'm going to taste for salt and maggi adding some salt and some maggi and please when adding in salt and maggi remember that we added in salt and maggi in our stock though it wasn't enough guys so i tasted and it needed that i should add in some more maggi so that's what i just did yeah and then next i'm going to pour in now this soup into my blender just wash and see how i do mine yeah i'm pouring it into my blender cover it and blend guys yeah so this is 
my soup after blending the essence of blending is so that it should mix well and so that it should thicken up normally traditionally in the village we are going to be pouring it in one container and pouring it back again into the pot pouring it like that so it mixes well but i decided to blend mine because this is a shorter way of doing it yeah without mixing it up and down yeah so now i'm adding in my meat into the soup since the soup is ready you see that the color is different and it's thicker than it was before before blending yeah so you see our soup is ready na right now i tell you this soup is yummy so we're going to the black soup right now so here is the ambada we were boiling and um, i just poured it into the blender and i added in a little bit of water to blend so that it should get soft yeah so this is the blended amber i'm adding right now into the pot of stock so i remove all the meat that was in this stock and kept it aside so what we have here is the amber and now this is a goosey that i added in so the, we have our stock our amber and a goosey i'm just mixing it and then i'm going to cover it to boil very well guys so that the goosey and the amber can get ready and then i add in some seasoning some salt and then i also add in some maggi cubes yeah to taste and please when adding in always taste it to make sure that it is okay since we already had maggi and salt in our stock yeah so i'm just going to mix oh, and then i add in my spices my my leftover actual spices yeah and then after this i'm going to mix again very well adding my meat also and then i'm going to cover the pot to boil again a little bit and our soup will be ready so just watch and see how i complete the process guys so see how our achu soup is looking so yummy so nice i love the color in fact the taste was on point so here we have our two soups our black soup our yellow soup and our achu yeah and we are ready to eat guys yeah so this is how we boil our achu before we eat with the hand some people call it one finger around the world that's how some people call achu one finger around the world because you use your one finger to eat it yeah so here i was boring mine and here is my soup i'm just going to add in into this hole in the middle and uh, we are good to go and then i add in some obstacles yeah Achu does not go without obstacles guys yeah so my achu is ready to be eaten and here is a bottle of some milk stout guys to push it down yeah so i was eating achu and yellow soup and hobby was eating you can see how it is being eaten with a single finger yeah and hobby was eating achu and black soup so we're going to go next to see how he did his this is hobby's own yeah so he's eating black soup because he doesn't like yellow soup guys yeah that's why i prepared the two soups yeah you see him putting his soup and we are about to enjoy our traditional meal guys if you enjoy this process process with us please give me a thumbs up on this video and please if you haven't yet subscribed do me well to hit the subscribe button and see you guys in my next one bye bye